Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to the next instalment of my steam driven water pump that I'm building. So without any further ado then uh, we'll move over to the workbench and crack on with this. So I've got to go in 3 30 seconds by 7 8 deep then open it up to quarter foot by 40 teeth per inch a quarter deep and then drill these two centre holes in to meet that 3 30 second hole. I'm just going to mark these 16th holes and then once I've got those marked I'm going to do these um, 8BA holes around the edge that clamp the valve chest to the cylinder I'm just going to mark them and then I can uh, put it into Millot drill and uh, drill them to proper depth
Come on then, let's have a little bit of an update. So, I've got all these 8BA tapping sized holes drilled for the valve chest. I've now got to carefully tap them 8BA. But before I do tap them, I've got to do uh, the same holes in the end covers. So I'm going to get these covers clamped on while I've got the correct drill in. Get those drilled. Pretty much same as what I've done on that phase, 8BA tapping drill. You know, mark them off first, spot them, then drill them to the correct depth. Both sides. So, I'll get that done. Same with that one. Then I've also got to, at some point, um, I really need the spindle though to do this because I want to line this end, cov end cover on the valve chest and I think they're are they 8BA or 10BA I can't remember I think they're 10BA I've got to put them into both sides of the valve chest can't do that though until I've got the actual uh, valve rod made or the spindle because I want to line that centre hole up in the correct position before I mark that so that might be for later and also for later I've got to copy the valve chest holes onto the cover but I've not done the cover yet, I've not sized it up yet brought it down to dimensions um, yeah I think that's where I'm up to at the moment there so uh, I'll crack on then and get these two end covers with the three quarter spigot on uh, put onto the cylinder. And then after I've got these uh, end covers marked off and drilled, I can move that I can move on to doing holes E and D that match up with B and C. So these are going to be the cross drillings that join the passageways up. I've just got uh, 18 8BA holes to tap now. Right, I'm, I'm ready now for drilling these connecting uh, steam passages up. So just briefly then, I'll just quickly go through it for anybody that's not quite uh, still sure, sure of what I'm doing. So if you remember, I copied these two holes on the valve chest into the cylinder face, which is there, them two. And now I've got those holes positioned, this side of the valve chest hole is going to be blanked off, flush, so steam can't come through there. Steam's only going to come through the bottom into this shuttle valve bore via that hole there. Same on both sides. So what I've got to do then now is uh, connect We'll stick on this shuttle valve port, so 
I've marked up one eighth up the face that's where the hole's going to start and it's going to come through and intersect that steam hole and that steam hole there like that and on the drawing that's holes B and D same on the opposite side and then the other one C and E is coming from this slot in the actual bore of the steam cylinder the centre of that slot and that slots at a one eighth depth into the bore so I've marked off one eighth down where the slot is and then I'm going to I've drawn a line from that position there from the centre line uh, I've drawn a line from this hole then to that position there and I've got to then drill into the bottom of that slot and it's going to come through then and meet up with that hole there which is hole E on the drawing and then I've got to do the same on the other side exactly identical on both sides and then once all that's done I've got to blank off I think I've just said that though I've got to blank off this hole B which is here look that's got to be blanked off because we don't want steam to come through that this is just purely for connecting these two holes up I'll get this set up at the correct angle on the on the mill then and uh, we'll have a go at, at drilling these I'm all ready for drilling the, the first of these angular steam passageways now I've got everything set but before I start to drill this one I'm going to just spot the angle that it's on with this tiny end mill so my drill don't wander off Okay then that's both holes B to D completed so I'm now moving back towards the bore to pick this other one up which is C to E Jobs are good one. Well that's it then, jobs are good and I think um, I've, I've, my airline blows through where it should do. Um, if anybody's making one of them, once you've got your angle set for the drill, I used a 1 8 end mill just to give me a flat face to start the drill off on, um, on both of them. Same with that one look. So what I've got to do now then I've got to blank this hole B on both sides it is. I've got to blank that off because we don't want steam coming through that way. And uh, and that's it I think for this. So this is hole B and it's connecting this hole that goes to the valve chest and this hole which is hole D. And then underneath all that comes hole C, 
which connects to hole E down here. And where this hole B comes through, where it's blanked off, that picks up this hole on the valve chest then. There. And I've just got to do a little groove yet in this valve chest at the bottom of the bore to let the steam come into the um, to the back of the shuttle valve. I've not done that yet. That, that'll be for next time. Well, that, I think that's it for this one then. I think I'll call it a day for this one and I'll continue with this in the next part then. So uh, if you found that useful, interesting, etc, etc, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on the next part to this then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.